thank you, Naveen, for joining us today on Let's Talk Business Series by Reality NXT. Thank you. The pleasure is all mine. So, Naveen, before we delve into the actual know-how of Eris Uniturn, I want to know personally from you, what made you become an entrepreneur in real estate industry? What was, was there any kind of moment or maybe an experience that made you, oh, this is the, uh, you know, journey I want to take and I want to carry this forward? So, entrepreneurship comes in blood. I'm a Marwari. So, that came in blood. I was a black sheep of the family, didn't do it for 20 years. So, finally decided to take the plunge. Why? Uh, 20 years into real estate, mm. uh, had looked into investment banking, then private equity, then uh, you know, almost eight years in uh, Pyramal Capital, where did both debt and equity, and had gone through two big cycles of 2008 and then 2018 when ILFS happened, and so how the transformations and the cycles of real estate keep moving. Why I love real estate is the creation, and it is ultimately, you know, in our country, it is the roti kapra and makan, so mm. it is an integral part of our life. What 2018 did it gave us that black swan event and then yeah. followed by COVID where a lot of projects simply got stuck. And you know that these people have put their, you know, the blood and the sweat into getting those houses and the houses were not getting completed. Now, as an employee, you'll try to solve as much as problem, but you're limited by your organization and the needs and the commitments of the organization. So pour a cup of a filter coffee in Bangalore mm -hmm. and Shini decided that we need to do little more and give back to the fraternity which because of which we have reached wherever we have uh, and in a much more neutral way not influenced by the chairs we are sitting on and that is where Eris Uniturn came into being and we said let's try and do something we don't know what will we do mm. we just know that we wanted to do something and give back to the fraternity which made us what we are today and that's how this started so it's interesting you said neutral way what, what do you mean by that? See, if you are a lender in a Pyramal Capital or any other organization, right? If you mm. are a developer who is looking at a stress asset, yeah. you always look at it from the eyes of your company. And you will try to find a solution which gives an economic benefit to your organization. That is what is your job, right? Mm. You will be still be looking to solve the problem. But with the influence of how it will benefit me and my organization. Yeah. Instead of that, if you're looking more from a neutral point of view, then you are looking at the solution of that same problem, which is the most optimum solution for the problem and not influenced by your chair, mm -hmm. which may be not your company. It may be some other company. It may be a Swami fund coming in. It may be another developer coming in. It may be no one coming and just putting in that little money to get that problem solved because, because which is typically the case yeah you know your the, the the chain of your cycle falls down you don't need to do anything you just need to open the screw put it back turn it and pack or mm -hmm. just grease it a bit but if you are you know if you're looking from a cycle service company then you can't give that solution you say oh, i have to make money out of it you saw how you see how hospitals work nowadays yeah. So if you don't want to be doing that, you want to look at it and if just a drop of grease is good enough, then you just do that and solve it. So that is where we wanted to be more neutral. The right solution, the optimum solution, not influenced by the economic factors of it. Which can be profitable as well. Yes. Yeah. So Aris Uniton is a development management company. Can you let our viewers first know what is a development management company? This Uniton is a development management company and more, but from a uh, perspective of development management company, uh, it's a very international concept. Mm. The whole idea of development management means that you will manage the entire construction process of the project, you will manage the cash flows of the project, lender management of the project, and the sales management of the project. So practically, you are doing the same role as a typical developer will do. But instead of a developer here, uh, some of the developers are also now doing development management for other projects. Or it can be here, in our case, it is being done by a set of professionals who are managing it. Mm. And ensuring 
that the project is completed and fully sold out and all the stakeholders of the project get what they were expecting to get. But, uh, how is it different? Let's take an example of an LNT or a Shapurji. Yeah. They are construction uh, companies. Mm. So what they do is only pure construction. Yeah. They don't manage the development from end to end. That is, uh, they will, uh, our development manager will look into the designing part of it, looking into the, whether the contractor is doing the work on it, maybe even man, will work as a PMC or manage the PMC who is controlling the designs, timelines, everything on it, will ensure that there are enough cash flows to manage that construction at the same time, mm -hmm. whether it is coming from the sales collection or whether it is coming from the construction finance or lender. Mm -hmm. uh, also, unlike on the sales side, now there are examples of sales agencies like Xanadu, Anarok, which we all know, Guardian in Bombay. Now, they are only focused on getting the sales done of the project yeah they are not bothered about how the construction is happening how the cash flow management is happening mm. so here we sh get into the shoes of them also either we are doing that or we are hiring those sales agencies to ensure mm. that the entire project is successful okay so we are stepping into the shoes of all or getting the right agency and managing the entire thing we are the sutradha mm. to ensure that the project is completed mm. the customers get their house the sales are done and the manner it was supposed to be, that project gets completed as it was desired. Mm. So we play the role of a sutradhar to get entire thing done. Uh, internationally, as I said, it's very common. In North, I think there's one black couple or someone who is doing it. There are a lot of developers now who have stepped into the role of a development ma manager, is, uh, yeah. especially for other developer stuck projects. Yeah, We are probably a little unique because probably we are one of the only professional set in uh, uh, you know Bombay to Bangalore or South India mm. who are doing the same thing. So I was going to ask you that also how Aris Uniton is going to position itself you know compared to other other places as you mentioned developers are also now getting into it and already some are doing it what specific values do you bring it to your clients then? So we uh, the pluses and the minuses are probably we don't carry the big brand of the developers what we bring is, you know, uh, we are not taking away the brand of the existing project also. Mm. So if, uh, let's say, an XYZ developer is stuck and let's say Shriram Properties or a Purvankara or a Shobha comes as a development manager, then it becomes a Purvankara or a Shobha or a Purvankara project. True. Now, the project could have got stuck because of various reasons, uh, including, you know, we have just passed through an LFS incident, a COVID and mm. everything. So when we are entering, we are still trying to see if the existing brand remains and his value is not taken off. So from uh, so there is a positivity from an existing developer that you are not removing my brand and you are not taking away that from me. B, uh, we are a set of professionals. So there are no hidden costs, there are no leakages. It is what it is uh, oh. written out there, right? Yeah. So that helps. We are not probably as costly as a lot of developers would be. Mm. So probably that adds because, you know, uh, when the project is in stress, every rupee counts mm. for completing the project, for the customers to get their house, for the lenders to get their money back, for the developer who has put all the, who's taken all the risk and made the project reach wherever it is from there uh, to get his some last rupee because he's the last man standing in any case. So we try to be just be more reasonable and uh, give our best. So the company Aris Uniton provides variety of services, offerings, including financially uh, finance ad advisory, working capital fund, sales uh, for support, as well you know uh, access to construction materials. How do you make sure all these uh, integrated services are working together in a seamless and uh, in a seamless efficient manner? and creating a seamless experience for your clients also and what kind of success you have got from this kind of approach. Okay, so let me give a small background on Eris Uniturn for that. So basically, we call ourselves a 3M company. The whole mm -hmm. idea of Eris Uniturn is to simplify the problems of the real estate across its value chain. How we are doing it? We are doing through our 3M service as we call money, material and management. Yeah. As you said, we are all the functions which you explained comes under this three. Mm. 
now how we integrate them is we have our professional heads who are managing each of these departments mm. and then again i and shri play a role at the top to ensure that the you know the, all the connections and the experience for the customer is seamless across the sector mm. and it is not very difficult if you see because they are very very varied money is you know is just uh, getting the right lender who will provide the money for such kind of projects mm. whether it is a development project or a stress project material is a very independent thing managed by a very uh, you know we have about 100 member team sitting out of bombay managing them mm. and about 20 people in bangalore so mm. there are set of professionals who are doing it uh, uh, there we have now how is it integrated is through our develop, development management experience so that is where shini and its team mm. uh, set of professionals who have more than 20 25 years of experience in development management ensure that mm. this wheel is running very very smoothly without any hiccups mm. and how to connect and man- uh, seamlessly manage between all these departments so real estate industry is full of complexities and especially when it comes to local approvals right and aris uniton provides the, all these services as you mentioned but except local approvals so how do you assist your clients by making sure that uh, this particular aspect is uh, taken care also the timely project is executed so two different things as you said one is approvals one is timely execution yeah now we believe that the main role of a developer mm. is to acquire uh, the land at the best possible price at the best possible location and manage the environment including approvals those are little difficult not impossible for a mm. set of professionals i think that is what separates us uh, one point probably negative to the developers mm. but that is where we believe that the developers are the best guys to get th- those things done we help them wherever it is important mm. but i think that is one part where developers are better than us <laughs> okay. now once that is done mm. then project completion is see is a matter of most problems get solved by money hmm. if you have the money in place hmm. whether it is lender or sales collections then project can be delivered on time because then it is more about cement pouring and ensuring day to day hammering in that the what has to be done on that per chart to get the project completed then that is possible and we have enough and good team to get that part done okay and you would also know that when it comes to real estate uh, industry right collaboration having right partners is a very important thing how does eros unitron make sure or uh, assist the developers in choosing the right partner maybe through jvs joint ventures maybe through joint development agreements or even outright acquisitions how what are the main criteria you look for when you are evaluating the potential partners as you said and you actually said the right thing that the most important part is the right partner yeah so lot of time we talk about i have been in an investor or lender most of my life yeah. we always say that the first criteria of investment is counterparty 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 now we had that discussion with lot of developers also that in real estate there are two most uh, important raw materials land and money money yeah not the guy who gives you money mm-hmm. does so many ref checks talks about you checks your history balance sheet for so many years your uh, repayment track record why don't we do the same thing when we are providing the land and that is where we see whether it is bombay whether we see in bangalore other places there would be jds which are 4 year to 14 year old and they have nothing has happened on it yeah correct or the projects have started and got stuck midway a lot of time we are influenced by the economic percentages which are being offered not understanding that whether the your partner has the capability mm. a to deliver the project mm. or b in those percentages is it feasible for the guy to actually make money if you are influenced by the percentage and not understanding that in those percentages will not make sense then what is he going to do he is going to delay your project till the project becomes feasible and then only he is going to start the project otherwise they will not make him any money yeah so that is the analysis and the feasibilities we try to explain to the land guys whether you are buying land or giving land mm. that it has to make economic sense as on date mm. 
and do a full ref check on your counterparty mm. uh, before uh, tying up those deals. Mm. Ensure that the documents along with the lawyer mm. are put in a way that you have that if you are giving the project, the developer has to deliver the project in a given time. Mm. Because a, it is definitely once you, a landowner is given the land for development, neither he has money or not, uh, any control on money or uh, nor on the project, yeah. right? So that becomes very very important. We try to tie up in such a way that you know he has route to solve, save mm. himself, save all the other stakeholders in the project. Hmm. So, uh, quite rightly put, hmm. and you have safeguarded the developer by, by getting the potential partner. But how do you safeguard Eris Uniton? Why I'm asking this question yeah. because uh, earlier we used to see a uh, lot of stall projects getting funded by certain uh, you know finance companies. But when that happens, we have also seen developers using that finance for another project altogether, or even just running away with that money. How do you safeguard errors you return with such developers when you face with uh, stall projects? Absolutely good question. See, once the project is in stress, it has happened because of the problems in the project. Also because there is a stress at the group level of the developer. Otherwise, the developer would have got some monies from somewhere else and would have solved the project. So it is absolutely true that even if you bring money to the project, mm. it is not the ultimate solution for the project. It is how you control the cash flows mm. because developer would have issues, day-to-day -day issues or stress in his various other projects, may have hand loans. Mm. So even if the intention is not there, but you know, there are chances of leakages simply because of the pressure he is going through on a day-to-day -day basis. How do we solve that? The only way to solve that is a very watertight security structure. Hmm. And more importantly, a very watertight cash flow escrow structure where you ensure that the every single rupee which is coming into the project, hmm. whether by the investor or from the sales collections, are utilized correctly hmm. towards the completion of the project only. Once the project is completed, then automatically the project will sell and bail out. But till that is not done and the investors are not out, Hmm. On a day-to-day -day basis, we need to control the cash flows. And it will not only happen by sheer documentation of escrow accounts and having a joint partner, uh, joint signatory, etc. Hmm. It has to be actually done on a day-to-day -day basis. Hmm. You have to have very strict monitoring of that. Hmm. Some of the ways we do it other than obviously monitoring the cash flows of it is like, for example, what are the ways of leakages? Let's identify. Yeah. It is material where you can do uh, under invoicing, over invoicing. So that is where we use, let's say, an Eris Infra, which supplies all the material. Mm. Now, because the money is coming from an institution at the best possible rate with different quotations taken, uh, we ensure, and with a quantity server or a project guy head there, we ensure that the material money is going at the right place and the materials are actually getting delivered on the site. Yeah. And the proper inventory is being taken. Yeah. Uh, then uh, we ensure that the proper labor payments are happening. So with all those things, we are able to ensure to minimize. I don't know if it can be zero, mm. but we try to see that we minimize any kind of a leakages from the project. That, that's the only way to solve it. There's no other way. You have to get your hands dirty. So uh, make our viewers also understand with a simple example. I'm a developer who's just uh, stuck with the project and have to finish the project hours. And I need working capital. Perfect. So you come help me with the working capital, but you also look that I have to get my contractor chain. Maybe you do the certain study and inspection, how you go about it and how do you finalize of giving me that working capital so that I can go ahead and finish the project and make us go through each step by step so that we understand RSU return role in this. So most important thing is first to understand what is your monies which have gone into the project. Yeah. And what are the balance receivable into the project and what the balance spends are. Now, we cannot rely first of all on the balance collection from sales, especially from the sold units. Why? Because this project is already delayed. True. So those collections from sold units will never come in time. Yeah. So first, we have, we have to identify that working capital gap very, mm. very properly. Second, not too much rely on immediate sales and sales collection 
to come into the project hmm. because if the project is already delayed because of the stress the the sales will take time sure. it first the image of the project need to be rebranded hmm. and show actual work on the site then only the customers will start walking in believe on the project and then start buying yeah so we have to consider a little more working capital than less hmm. lot of time we make those mistakes to just to have so called covers on our cash flows hmm. out there once that is done then we need to provide ample amount of money for the entire financial closure of the project ideally assuming no sales if possible hmm. but depending upon which phase of the project you are entering you may assume some sales collection towards the end of the project that is about ascertaining the amount of working capital which is being provided that is phase 1 phase 2 again as you said that to complete it we need to ensure that there are no leakages on it yeah so that ha- can happen on multiple ways a if you think the developer is stressed you may have to get sometimes an alternate developer to complete the project or you need to get a professional set of development management or monitoring agencies to ensure that there Mm. full control and monitoring of the cash flows mm. third uh, you may have to change the contractor get your own contractor in place again just to ensure there are no leakages out there mm. similarly you need to do a thorough diligence on who are your vendors and uh, you know material suppliers again mm. you may want to get again as i said whether it is aris infra mm. or other mechanism but we need to ensure that the materials are getting delivered in a mm. proper way right So we may have to change all the vendors out there. Okay. Once all this are done hmm. and the project has moved to a certain level, then you may have to have the right sales agency out there. Hmm. If the developer has a capable team and it is just a matter of working capital, it may be the developer uh, sales team, hmm. or you may have there are now very good reputed third party sales agencies available. Yeah. Be it Anna Rock, Zana Do, Flow, hmm. etc. Uh, uh, even Eris Unit now has its own sales agency. You have to get the right sales agency based on the project, based on the location, mm. to get the sales and the sales collection done. But first, we need to get the project at a certain level before, and then do a full marketing strategy before we bring it. Mm. Because you don't want to again honestly spend on the marketing and sales. Yeah. Because the first thing is the project. True. Then comes all your entire strategy. Yeah. So, so that once you have done that, mm. I think the project can reach its reasonable conclusion. So and obviously, yeah. sorry, one part I missed is your existing lender. If you are, that is yeah. a challenge which all of us have been facing. But that I think we can structure it out. I think government has been supporting on it through Sami Fund or other uh, agencies to support that. 